One of the comments that we hear as we dig into the more advanced and more competitive level Crokinole Skills tips is that it does have the potential to take away from some of the fun and the laughter and cursing that comes after a horrific shot. I think what you'll find as you dig in and try what we're about to cover in this video is that it will lead to some fascinating 20s that are super satisfying and it will also set up a lot more horrific shots that lead to that laughter and fun and cursing. Now last week we looked at the Rick O'Shea 20. This week we're going to build on that and we're going to put Rick in a really tight spot and see what kind of results you can create. Let's take a look. Jeremy Tracy here with Tracy Boards. If you find this video helpful and fun, you know what to do because we tell you in every video. Give us a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe. All the cool kids are doing it for more great Crokinole content. If you missed it, click here and go back and watch last week's video about the Ricochet 20, the Angle in 20, what our video guy Mac calls the Tokyo Drift. This video is going to build upon that and quite honestly this is more about showing you something that is possible for you to pull off on your Crokinole board more so than teaching the skill. But I want you to try this and see what you can make happen. One of the coolest parts about this is if you try it and it doesn't go well it is absolutely disastrous and very funny if it happens to your opponent. We are talking about the situation that quite often sets up when the opponent's disc will be just outside of that 15 circle, maybe even touching that 15 circle line, but quite close to, if not touching, a peg. And what a lot of players don't even realize they can do is they can try to squeeze in past it. You take last week's tip of that ricochet 20 and you get your shooter to just catch the inside edge of that opponent's button and ricochet in toward the center hole. Now I can't explain the physics of why this is true, but in my experience in playing and watching Crokinole, so often if you are able to squeeze past that button, a very high percentage of the time it will end up going into that center hole or at least very close to it. But if you don't get that angle right, if you don't catch it at just the right angle and get your shooter past that opponent's button, it's disastrous. Failure. Humiliation. Shame upon your family's name. Well, that's what I tell the boys. So here's your challenge should you choose to accept it. Even though this will set up in gameplay, what I want you to do in practice is just experiment to see what you're able to do. Just like in past drills we've done, I'm encouraging you to push your limits. So I'd like you to start with an opponent's button almost touching the peg and say just barely touching that 15 line and see what you're able to do from there. If you're successful, move it in a little bit further and a little bit further and experiment with how close to the peg it is to see what you are able to successfully pull off that tight ricochet 20 and when you always find yourself jamming up making disastrous shots. Now this quite naturally happens with these front four pegs. The four pegs closest to you, you're still able to accomplish that 135 degree angle we talked about in the last video. For practice, just to get comfortable with it, I would really encourage you to use one of these two pegs. You'll be able to sit more comfortably because even though you can do that same shot with it jammed up against one of these closer posts, it isn't always a lot of fun to spend a whole bunch of time sitting way off to one side making your shots. Now once you get a handle on that, the other thing I'd like to throw out to you as a possibility, believe it or not, it is even possible to make this same shot with these two posts that are a little bit further away. Now you may look at that and say, Jeremy, your, your 135 degree angle theory completely goes out the window. It is not possible. But here's the thing, when it is there, and again, don't ask me the physics on this, it just works really well. If it is quite tight, to that post, what you'll find is your shooter will jam a little bit and that jamming, that wedging up against that peg will alter that 135 degrees and allow you to, again, the success rate on this is higher than you'd expect, that it will jam up and your shooter will end up drifting over into that all elusive 20. One of the great side effects of you playing with this and taking it into your gameplay is that even if you are one of those selfish people who doesn't share these Crokinole tips with every Crokinole player you know, like you should, 
Once people see you do this and they realize that it's possible, they're naturally gonna try it themselves. And you're either going to get to see them make a great shot, or you're gonna to get to laugh at them after they make a horrible shot. Regardless of the outcome, I really feel that by trying this tight Ricochet 20, it's going to add to the fun, add to the laughter, add to the cursing, while you and your friends enjoy the greatest game on earth. Ah, I screwed that up. <laughs> the, other, the other way. Here? Yeah. Here, here. Out of canal. <laughs> <laughs> In your face, mother. You can just take the add to the cursing. <laughs>